So let's talk a little bit about the evolution of the microservices stack to understand where service mesh is, because from here on out, I'm gonna be talking about proxies and sidecar proxies and ingress controllers. And so we have to talk a little bit about why that's important. Well, the way we've seen things is that there's three basic components. The first is sort of the microservices packaging layer. And I think that gave birth to the container wars and kudos to Docker, they pretty much won that. Um, we don't see a lot of people fighting for their different container standards. Well, once I had a bunch of containers, the next thing I had to do is figure out how do I easily deploy them. So then the orchestration wars started. Kudos to Kubernetes. They've pretty much done a great job in skyrocketing towards the forefront of this and really becoming the de facto standard for a lot of companies that are looking to automate and orchestrate how all those containers get deployed. Well, the next level up is really what is referred to as the proxy wars. And we didn't come up with that. That's an actual external term. We like it a lot. Uh, but it really talks about all the connections between these containers. So it's not just the orchestration of the raw containers themselves, but it's more the application logic and functionality between all of those that is the service mesh. And this is where the war is just heating up. So Istio is another project that seems to be almost as popular uh, as Kubernetes is for orchestration. And that customer after customer tells us, yep, we're planning on doing Istio. Uh, and so that's great. We are big fans of what they're doing there. It's an interesting approach. But inside of Istio, you have to choose what your proxy is gonna be. Now, Nginx is quickly becoming the de facto standard there. The batteries included version is Envoy. Um, the folks at Buoyant have Linkerd. So there's a, a lot of different options that you can kind of plug into this infrastructure. Istio is a pluggable infrastructure, so it does allow multiple. And so, but understanding why would I choose one of these proxies over another really requires that we go a bit deeper on, well, what exactly is a service mesh at a functional level so I can realize what are, what are the, the things I should wait when selecting that proxy. But the big thing is, I think you can be confident Docker has the right packaging layer, Kubernetes is the right orchestration layer. Regardless of whether you do Istio or not, you're gonna now put most of your energy into choosing what is that service mesh layer. That's where the architectural kind of heat and friction is as companies go down this path.